Now right here, I'm gonna show you guys a very simple scalping strategy that you can easily use to apply on the 5 minute and the 15 minute time frame. Now the things I mentioned here are very helpful so I'm sure you want to pay close attention. Now once you're already in the 5 minute time frame, what you need to do is to check what the market is actually doing at that point in time. Whether the market is actually in a consolidation, whether the market is actually in a trend. Now the best way to actually view the market is for you to turn your phone into landscape mode just on your phone into landscape mode and if you try to like zoom out everything you can get like a very good view of the market now with just something like this you can easily spot out the points that market is reacting to now if you could look at this point right here we could see that the market is kind of touching a point in this area now let me use a line to actually represent that now if you try to draw this we could see that that point is now visible now we can actually go ahead and mark those points of key level in the market and this will actually guide us whenever we are placing a trade now if you still kind of take like a closer look we can see like a little bit of a resistance in this part of the market so we're going to add in another horizontal line to this point in the market and we can see that this horizontal line is actually a key level in the market so it's both acting as a point of resistance and it's both acting as a point of support so with this we've already getting like a clear definition of how we are going to work in the market so once you've already done this you've already given yourself like a definition to work off with in the market so right now we're going to go straight into the strategy so now the first indicator we're going to be adding is going to help us to notice all the sharp tones in the market you can see this point where the market was just going up immediately and just start coming down this indicator is going to take care of it and as you can see it's happening like almost everywhere because this is actually the five minute time frame things actually change a lot in this time frame things are rapid on here so you also want to be rapid with the market now in terms of this right now there are actually two indicators that can actually help you figure out this um spikes that tend to happen on the five minute time frame is that you want to use the relative strength index or you want to use the stochastic now i'll prefer you use the stochastic because instead of explaining let me show you guys why the relative strength index is not a bad indicator i must say i need to see that now on the rsi you actually have the 70 mark and the 80 mark so whenever price is at the 70 mark this is trying to signify that the market is actually at its highest point you know is an overbought zone it means that price is you know about to go down as you can see it's really correlating in the market now let me use this for example let's say you actually go to a bookstore and you're actually looking for a marker now let's say unfortunately when you arrived at the bookstore the bookkeeper tells you that everyone has bought that particular marker and it's finished now obviously you can't buy more so that's kind of exactly what is actually happening here if you use that instant so once price is actually at overbought what will actually happen is the market begins to go down so this one easy way that you can actually save yourself of this like i said the stochastic is way more better and let me show you guys how and we're gonna add in the stochastic so what you want to do right here is that you want to search for the stochastic oscillator so tap that in so what you want to do right here is that you want to come to this period right here and change that to 10 and this three um you want to change that to um six same thing again you want to change this to six so we actually have the key percent period to be 10 the deep percent period to be six the slowing to be six um price field low slash high method simple all these things is just the same so what you have to do is to go ahead and hit done now we actually have the stochastic in the market now just like on the relative strength index we had 70 and we had 30 but in this case we're working with 80 and 20. now if you look at the stochastic indicator it actually have this green red thing that's actually happening so whenever you see like the green above the red it means that price is actually in a buy whenever i see like the red above the, um red above the green it means that price is actually coming down so this actually helps to save us a confirmation even though price has not gotten to the 80 or the 20 mark now if you actually pull back the relative strength index you can see that that kind of a thing was happening it's just flowing around in the market but but if you check it on the stochastic it's actually like a very defined process now if you look at this point in the stochastic you could see that it's actually at the 80 mark so we could see that in the market now this actually helped to prevent those spiky moments on the five minute time frame like on the five minute time frame it actually happens a lot so this will eventually be a live saver now let's look at this point in the stochastic as you can see right here price was actually at the 80 mark on this three points now if you look at this point right here we could see exactly what happened price was actually at those overbought zone and we could see 
the down what formation that the market actually went into now let's look again this point right here is actually this point in the market still the same thing had that retracement and still save you some pips in the market still the same thing again still saves you some pips in the market so the stochastic is actually one of the must have if you're actually trading the five minute time frame now i'll not recommend you only use the stochastic i'm going to give you guys something that will obviously you know help you with the trend of the market now in order for you to get like the different trends in the market what you can do is that you can come to this indicator section right here and now what you want to search for is actually alligators check for it check for it okay we can see right here tap into the alligator uh, and you want to keep every of these settings like this and once you're done with everything just go ahead and hit done now this right here is actually what we call the alligator indicator now the alligator indicator is actually made up of three moving averages and this moving average actually mean a lot of things when they're actually combined but whenever you see like the moving averages of the alligator indicator tightening up this trying to signify that there is no trend in the market and you actually see it pick back up when there is a trend in the market now just as a simple way to explain whenever you see like the blue moving average above this trend is signify a sell in the market and whenever you see like the green moving average above this trend is signify a buy in the market whenever you see price above the alligator moving averages is trying to signify a buy and whenever you see price below the moving averages of the alligator is trying to signify a sell in the market so it's actually that simple one thing about the alligator is that it also acts as a point of um, key level in the market when we talk about um, static and dynamic support resistance this is actually a dynamic support resistance because it actually moves along with the market until it's actually changing a trend and then you can go ahead and catch in some few pips in the market so this is exactly this is something you can use now if you can see from this point the alligator went above and you can see how it acted as a point of key level to hold price but you can see that the moving average of the alligator actually helps to hold price as you can see from this point right here price went above the uh, moving averages which signifies a buy and you could see exactly what happened you could see exactly what happened how the alligator moving averages are helping to hold price as the trend actually continues until we see price you know we could see something like that happen here we could see something like that happen here we could see something like that happen until a change of trend and reverses the role point of key level point of key level point of key level point of key level now to even take everything to the next level let's just add in the stochastic indicator so right here we have everything that we need we have the stochastic showing us those points of spikes in the market we have the alligator indicator giving us trends in the market and also showing us those support and resistance along the market which is crazy now if you use this together we can actually figure out good points but before that there are actually general rules that we also need to follow now when we use this together it actually make a very very good duo but there are some rules that you need to follow now here are the rules now whenever you see price at the um lower or the upper part of the stochastic it does not necessarily mean that the trend is going to change it's just to find out those points of spikes in the market this is one thing you should have at the back of your mind now let me show you guys what i mean now if you could look at it the stochastic is showing us the 80 mark but if you look right here the trend didn't change right because this is trying to show us those points of retracement in the market those points of those those spikes in the market because this is the five minutes obviously things like that are meant to happen now if you guys gain value from this video make sure you hit the like button and if you're not a part of the family go ahead and hit that red subscribe button be part of the family so with that being said i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one